cashing in on the success of the first modern-day reality show, The Osbournes, the Anna Nicole Smith Show ran on the E! Channel from 2002 to 2004, 28 episodes in all. So we're in Coldwater Canyon now, and we're heading to the famous home of Anna Nicole Smith. Now, it was about five, six years ago that we went to Texas, and we went to Mahia, where she grew up, and the diner that she worked in and uh, they were really really so nice to us so I haven't been up here in, in several years but if you watch the Anna Nicole Smith show you'll recognize this house it's a show that I really enjoyed when it was on but I figured I would revisit it not that long ago and after what happened to her, it's really an uncomfortable show to watch. So I, uh, I had to stop. But I enjoyed it when it was on. She was very quirky and fun. But it's not, you can't really laugh at it anymore. Anna was born Vicki Lynn Hogan. She spent a lot of her youth in Mahia, Texas, where she worked as a waitress at Jim's Crispy Fried Chicken. It's there that she met her first husband, Billy, who was a cook there at the time. When Troy and I went there, I asked the women behind the counter what they thought of Anna Nicole, and their response was, not much. But they were kind enough to let me stand behind the counter. Anna and Billy were married in 1985 and had a child, Daniel, a year later. They were divorced in 93. Anna sent nude photos of herself to Playboy magazine and landed a photo shoot in Los Angeles. She was named Miss May of 1992, and in 1993 she was named Playmate of the Year. She became the face of Guess Jeans and appeared on TV and in films like Hudsucker Proxy and Naked Gun 33 and one third. In 2002, the Anna Nicole Show premiered on the E! Network. They needed a house. Well, y'all are not here. I like to walk around naked with the wind going off the roof. Oh, that's fun. It makes me feel really good to be surrounded by such beauty. Our future absolutely seems brighter. In 1994, after a two-year affair, Anna married 89-year-old oil tycoon J. Howard Marshall. They met when Anna was working in a stripper bar. 13 months later, Marshall died at the age of 90. Anna was not mentioned in his will, and the fight over Marshall's billions went on for the rest of her life. We're at 3-6. This is going to be a while, I think. No, it's coming up. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Is this it? Uh, yeah. Oh, it is, yeah. Okay, I'm going to park and come back. I remember a couple of times seeing Bobby Trendy pull up over here and walk in with his outrageous furniture, luxurious furniture. Here's an unusual matchbook sent to me by my friend Mike Flores, California Driving School, and here we are. Now I'm glad I stopped here actually, because I don't know how much longer it's going to be here, because it's all closed up. So who knows, that cool sign might go away. I said, you might remember, but, but uh, I did not. Troy reminded me in 2002 when Anna Nicole Smith was doing her show, first season, uh, she took driver's driving lessons, and, uh, and this is where she did, right here.
After the show was over, Anna went into a fairly public downward spiral. Uh, failed relationships, allegedly one with that wacky prince who married Zsa Zsa Gabor, and humiliating antics. In early 2006, a pregnant Anna moved to the Bahamas, and some say it was to avoid the paternity test of her impending child. Several people stepped up and announced their potential parentage, including the wacky prince. One thing was clear, though. Anna Nicole surrounded herself with very questionable people. On September 7, 2006, Anna gave birth to a daughter, Danny Lynn. The happiness was short-lived. Three days later, Anna's 20-year-old son, Daniel, visited Anna and his new baby sister in the hospital. He fell asleep in Anna's hospital room and never woke up. He had died of an overdose. Anna was inconsolable and understandably went off the deep end. Five months later, on February 8, 2007, she was staying at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. She was found unresponsive in her room, room 607. Anna's bodyguard was away. His wife is an emergency registered nurse and performed CPR for 15 minutes until the bodyguard, who was a trained paramedic, returned and took over. At 1.38 p.m., the bodyguard notified the hotel front desk from Smith's sixth floor room. 911 was called at 1.45 p.m. Hello, Tamaris. Hi, this is Seminole Police. If you can please respond to the Hard Rock, uh -huh. room 607. Okay. It's going to be a reference to a white female who is, um, what is she not responsive? She's not breathing and she's not responsive. She's um, actually Anna Nicole Smith. Uh -huh. If you guys can please. Oh, okay. Okay? All right. Thank you. The bodyguard continued to administer CPR until paramedics arrived at 2.10 p.m. Smith was rushed to Memorial Regional Hospital, where she was pronounced dead on arrival at 2.49 p.m. Hey everyone, Scott with Dearly Departed. Here I am in Hollywood, Florida. To I'm actually in the lobby of the Hard Rock Hotel. And the reason I'm here is because of the death of our beloved Anna Nicole Smith, who passed away in room 607 of this hotel. Now, we, I did everything to get up there. They, they, are, they are so secured and, uh, and they're just not receptive at all to people coming and checking it out. So unfortunately, I couldn't get to the room, but we are here and the spirit of Anna left her body here in this hotel. Of course, we're not able to get into the room where she died, but they did tell me that it was overlooking the hotel, overlooking the pool, and we're at the pool and it would have been on this side of the hotel. That is the best hint. I was going to get. So Ann and Nicole was out looking at these balconies down at the pool area here. It was announced that Ann and Nicole died of combined drug intoxication with the sleeping medication chloral hydrate as the major component. No illegal drugs were found in her system. It states that her death was not considered to be homicide, suicide, or natural causes. Her body was flown to the Bahamas, and her funeral was held at the Mount Horeb Baptist Church, where 300 guests mourned her. The funeral was broadcast live on Entertainment Tonight. Anna Nicole, the Graveside Exclusive. Anna Nicole Smith, we now commit a body to the ground. Only we are in the tent with Howard, Larry, and her mom. It's time for uh, friends and family and loved ones to say their last goodbyes. Her mahogany casket was draped in a pink satin cloth with ribbons and feathers. Her name was spelled out in rhinestones. Anna is wearing a pink gown and a tiara forever. She was taken to Lakeview Cemetery where she is buried with her son, Daniel, and the ashes of her late husband, J. Howard Marshall. A month after Anna's death, the paternity of the child was proven. Through DNA test, it was determined that the father of Anna's baby is her ex-boyfriend, Larry Burkhead. He has had custody of Danny Lynn ever since. The fight over J. Howard Marshall's fortune continues. 
Thanks for watching. If you want to be notified of when I release new videos, hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell button to the right of it, and you'll be notified as soon as I release new videos. I want to thank the people sponsoring my page. Kirk DiBernardi, Annette T, John C. Howell, Sumer Tulak, Paigey Leaglees, and Debbie Clark. I hope you enjoy this little collage I'm showing you, too, that hangs in the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in Niagara Falls, Canada. Thank you so much for your time and for your attention. And until next time... You heard me.